Hi guys, I'm Tom Stoltman, the three times world's strongest man. And I'm Tom's brother, Luke Stoltman, the two times Europe's strongest man. Have you ever wondered how far the Stoltman brothers can drive a golf ball? Today is going to be your lucky day. So Tom and I have been playing a bit of golf for the last little while and as per usual, when we do something together, there's always a little bit of competition. You know, there's a lot of competition between Tom and I. So Tom thinks he's the best golfer. I think I'm getting back to where I should be. I was out in the driving range hitting some quite nice shots yesterday. So we thought, what better way to settle it than to enter a long drive competition and see who has the biggest, furthest, fastest driver going. You feeling confident? Very confident. <laughs> We're going to start off by going through some, what you guys can expect as golfers. So some of you guys might not know kind of how far you can expect the hit. If you were an amateur golfer just coming in for the first time, if you hit a decent shot, you may be looking around to hit 200 yards or so, which is decent. And then when you move up to like a scratch golfer, kind of semi-pro, whatever level, maybe 300 to 310, 20 if you're lucky. Our good friend Mitchell Hooper, who's just won the strongest man on earth at the Shaw Classic, he's hit a massive 372 yards, um, which is pretty impressive. If we can hit anywhere near him, we'd be doing a good job. The American Golf Open Championship winner Bryson DeChambeau uh, has hit 400 and 80 yards, which is absolutely massive. It's incredible. Like Bryson, he's an amazing golfer, isn't he? He's, he's got a really cool YouTube uh, channel as well. I watch, watch him quite a lot, so. And then the champion of long drives is Martin Borgmeier, which is, I can't even believe this, 520 yards he's hit. He must have been hitting into about 100 mile downwind. What do you think, maybe five shots, the best of five? Yeah, five shots. And let's see who wins. Five shots to take it all. So stay tuned, guys. Before we go out in the golfing range, comment below who you think's going to win. I'm very confident myself. But if you want, you can vote for him as well. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the driving range. That is us at the driving range up in Inverness. And we're going to go and see who has the longest drive. So come along with us. I will see you on the range. Oh, you're hitting it nice. That's a peach. That is a peach. Right, Caddies, come on. Uh, You'll just drop there, man. <laughs> That's a peach, but it's left, eh? So belt that one. 280. Oh. <laughs> oh, if I didn't miss hit that, I would have probably. Uh, 287. 287. It came back in. <laughs> 278. That's a run, boy. That's beauty. Stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in, stay in. That's run by a mile. Stay, 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 stay. Stay again. It is because it's that power, isn't it? You're getting there. Yeah, I think it's really. That was 176 miles per hour. Oh, that she's a peach. Might just be going soon. That's, that's, that's not that further than that. Jeez. Biggest one yet. No, one a yard under. Look at that one yard under. It's just teasing me. Oh, the height you get on that though. That's... Oh! <laughs> no! One yard off. Oh, yeah, I didn't even register either. No one can see Out that. Out of bounds counts. Out of bounds counts. I this. But wow, that stopped. And we are back after that golfing long drive challenge that we set ourselves. Tom, you hit 287 yards. Yes. And Luke, which is me, I hit 299 yards. <sighs> but, uh, but the weird thing about the range, it says Luke's was out of bounds, which it, it, in a golf course wouldn't be. So it's, that's the hardest thing about this uh, long drive in a range. You have to get it in a certain area, whereas if you could just ping it, I think it would be easier as well, because his wasn't out of bounds, but 
you have to get it in like a, it's like a wee screen onto, you have to basically yeah. hit it straight, a wee bit left or a wee bit right. So yeah, I think as well, <laughs> the last bit of it was uphill, so like, on that range, maybe 300 is probably the limit for myself and Luke. But I think if it was a straight one with a wee hill or a bit more of a ball carry as well, with the wetness just, Luke was hitting it so high as well, and so was I, and it just uh, uh, carries two or three yards, so. But I think on a golf course or other ones as well, I think we could hit 300 plus easily. But yeah, it was fun. <laughs> you must be quite impressed though with my ability just to pick golf back up. Yeah, it was good. You've been out like every day for the last three but months. But you've always, the thing is, Luke, he's always been good at, at uh, driving, Everything. but the irons and stuff, you still just nail that. It's just because you can nail I a drive. a nice iron. You were that uh, good at irons here. Yeah, I know, but the range is different in it. Like, we're hitting it like 189 miles per hour, and you're like, this should be going. It looks like it's going four or 500 yards, and it just goes, oh, 250 yards. Wow. So Yeah, it's not the best conditions, I think, no. that driving range for, like, to see who can hit the furthest, in all honesty. You know, because if you can imagine if you're hitting on a, on a fairway, even if it was level, and the it wasn't wet, it would bounce more. It would, oh, yeah. you know, if the ground was solid, if it was a bit drier, he was asked making all excuses. Basically, we're, we're 400 yard drivers, but the conditions let us down today, I think is what we're saying. I bet if I, we did like one or two lessons and tweaks sitting, we, cause that's what it said, twist your arms or boy you stance. That's what a lot of people, golfers say is, that can make a difference. So yeah, I've got a video of uh, Rick Shields coming up. So that'd be cool to see if he, tweak something by an inch and I go 30, 40 yards for it. But that's what these pros do. They're, they're, they get everything perfect and they can do a wee back swing and it goes. <laughs> It'd be cool to actually try a driver that you can hit long distance to see the difference in it because you see them on YouTube and the way they bend and they've got all different things on them. So that would be cool to actually see how far we could actually hit a drive with an actual proper long drive. So as we said initially, you know, a beginner, you'd expect to hit 200 yards, a pro, around 300 yards, so we're not far off that. Mitch Hooper, uh, he's coming in with 373 yards, so your record safe for now, Mitchy boy. Maybe when you're over in Scotland for Glasgow and uh, for the Rogue, maybe we can hook up and get a, a drive in. That'd be pretty cool. Awesome. Bryson's record's very much safe. Bryson, yeah. Martin, 520 yards, yeah, you're, I mean, you're, you're safe for a while. But, but I think they're hit, they must be hitting it from an elevated T, like downhill in the wind. That's the only way you can hit 520 yards. There's no way you're knocking 520 yards. I'll get that Martin Borger me, Meddy soon. Martin, we're coming for you. 521 yards coming soon. Guys, that was the Long Drive Championship. The world's strongest man and Europe's strongest man. Can we hit 300 yards? Apparently not. But we will be back. We will not be defeated. We will see you in the next challenge. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay stay smile and stay spicy. And please... Don't ever stop ringing that little bell. Ding -a -ling -ling. Hey guys, I don't know about you. I'm feeling the big three coming up soon. Just trying to feel it now. Sometimes you just got to let one go. Sometimes when you know, you know. Sometimes heroes don't have to wear a creep. You know, you get a, you get a little feeling deep inside you. <sighs> Not with that one. Oh, Shadow spot. <laughs> anyone else I'm feeling free <laughs> <laughs> oh heck me this is hard work I'm tired my slush just comes up oh.